friends. How are you guys doing? I got a whole bunch of mail, and uh, I've been dying to open it. And I'd like to share with you, wonderful folks. Uh, I have been really focused on the uh, non-sports stuff lately, so if that's not your cup of tea, my apologies. Uh, there's a few things in here that Bridget asked for, and a few things in here that uh, I've had my eyes on for a while. I don't know about your eBay strategy, but I tend to watch on like a lot of things. Oh, crap, there's a Bridget. I thought you went to bed. All right. Mm -hmm. Mom, Mom let you sit down on this one? Oh. I'm recording the video if you haven't noticed. Hi. Hi. All right, so there was this awesome movie back in the day. Are you hanging around? Uh, called Starship Troopers, and um, I got the complete set for, I believe, a reasonable price. Uh, I don't know. This looks professionally sealed, so I'm inclined not to open it. I kind of want to look through the cards, but um, they are all listed there. There's 81 cards, including the checklist, 1997 TriStar Pictures. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Bridget, you missed the by green screen. Be careful over there. Um, so, Starship Troopers. Complete set. Good movie. Right on. Rico and uh, all of them. And, uh, you know, Patrick Harris is in it. It's really cool. Are you leaving? Yes. Okay. All right. Good night, Bridget. Good night. Everybody say good night to Bridget. Or good morning by the time you see this. Oh, the whole green screen's all messed up. I might have to cut this part. We'll see. I don't know. See you, love you. Well, anyway, that was fun. You never know what's going to happen here. I haven't got my um, my on-air thing hung up yet. So, uh, Although I did tell her I was going to record. Yeah, she's 10. All right, this looks to be a single card, maybe a couple of cards, and a top loader if I was a betting man, which I am. But there's nobody here to bet currently. Ah! This is my growing collection of Game of Thrones cards. So, uh, Mark Gattis, I believe, is how you say it. Um, you know, he's uh, the representative from the Iron Bank in the movie, or I mean, the TV show, if you saw it. But what I like him for is he plays um, Sherlock Holmes' brother uh, in the uh, the TV show starring um, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and I think he did a pretty good job of that. So, uh, that's why I was interested in this one. Uh, obviously, Game of Thrones makes it awesome, too. Make sure everything is in frame here. Uh... Gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, got seven more packages. I promise not to take too terribly long. This is from Mr. John Cole. Uh, he reached out to me about a couple of cool cards he had by way of uh, of uh, Kansas City Sports. So he shot me a price. I said yes. Boy, does he love his shrink wrap machine. Of course, if I had one, I would too. I don't ship nearly as often as he does. Dave H. That is my... Uh, also known as, here we go. Oh, looks like you threw a couple other cards in there. Thank you, John. Uh, Manuel Riviera. Uh, we've got a Perez there on the left. Mike Miner. And look at this. Jackson Coar rookie material. That is a nice shiny, shiny card there. And it's patch numbered 112 out of 299. With any luck, you can see that. Very cool. Let me get that uh, sleeved up. Add those to the Royal stack to sort later. Are we out of frame here? I got all thrown off by Bridget. Not the first time that's happened. How you doing? You having a good day? Is it uh, stupid hot wherever you are too? Sundays my family goes out and we serve the uh, the homeless community in the area. And uh, I like doing that. I like helping people out. But I do not like sweating my ass off. My butt off. Sorry, family friendly channel. All right, this is pretty sweet because uh, this only makes the second uh, booklet card, booklet I've ever had. Yeah, that sucker, how long that is. Angel Zerpa, I don't know if you can tell an autograph in there. That is a pretty dang sweet uh, patch there, patch auto. Absolute, wow. Rookie baseball material, booklet signature. I have no idea how to display these things, so uh, any tips you have on it, let me know. I love it, though. That's a pretty sweet addition to the uh, the old Royals collection. Working our way down the list here. This is from DC Sports in Virginia. So, probably close to DC. 
I haven't been to DC lately, but I sure do like it. All right, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, okay, these are some more autos that I picked up. Really been down the auto path lately, especially uh, where um, non-sports is concerned. There's a combination of things here. So this is Tom Kane. Uh, he's Yoda from the animated series. Obviously, Frank Oz is the original Yoda. Um, will forever be. You can never top that. But since he has long gone, and that would be an insanely priced thing, uh, this is the reasonable Yoda autograph I can get. It's uh, pretty dang sweet. It's uh, one of those transparent type ones there. Yoda Jedi Master. That is, that's pretty awesome. I'm an uber Star Wars nerd, so uh, really geeking out about that. And then we got a Wade Davis. <laughs> I think this is filthy. That is what that says, right? It looks like it says filthy. There was, um, I don't know, I, I looked him up, Wade Davis, because uh, he was on the, um, ooh, this is a one one too, very nice. Uh, he was on the uh, World Series team, and there was some guy had like, Six or seven Wade Davises that were all one of ones. Uh, well, I guess there was a couple like one of threes, one of four, really limited edition runs. And um, I was watching all of them, and towards the end, the prices just shot, started shooting up. So I thought I could get more than one. Uh, no. So I picked the one that I thought I had the best chance at, and I gave it my best price. And right at the the line, I, I he was like one up me. He was like trying to test the edge of uh, what I would bid, and uh, in the end, I did get it. And I. I think he got all the others. Or maybe there's more than one person. I don't know. But uh, very cool. Um, I, I would like to long-term get the autograph of uh, all the, the starting lineup from the uh, the World Series team. Or teams. Cool to go back to the 80s, too. But uh, one step at a time, Dave. This is from Mark Montague in Rochester, Minnesota. I do not know what to expect here. That is some serious tape. Mark does not mess around where the tape is concerned. I do go back and give reviews on every eBay purchase I make. I feel like that's only fair. I hope that everybody does it for me too. And uh, I haven't gotten to the inside yet, but so far I'm going to say Mark did a very good job of packaging. Maybe too good a job. Right. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Um, wow. It is uh, buried in there. Whatever it was, you could drop kick it. It would have been fine, I think. All right, hold on. It's too close to the camera. We clean up tomorrow. I promised the wife I wouldn't spend forever in here sorting stuff, which I have been known to do. Goodness gracious, what is in here? Okay, there is the clump of cards. And I see the words Game of and Throne in that order. Oh, Ziploc baggie and scotch tape. You were doing so good. Still did pretty good, but uh, sort of a sort of a misstep there. Okay, so we will look. Um, I have been definitely growing my Game of Thrones collections. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, I recommend it. Even the ending, people hate the ending, but still, it's worth it. Amazing, amazing show. Okay, let's see what we got here. I got myself Chuku Botu. Not sure about that. Oh, there's several in this really thick top loader. Okay. Okay, these are all going to get individually sleeved by yours truly. All right. He is Ago. If I remember correctly, he's um, is he one of the leaders. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. I recognize his face though. It's a lot of characters. Okay, Enzo Silentio Silenti. I believe these two guys were uh, part of the same ruling class where uh, Daenerys Targaryen took over. Uh, Dan Hildebrand, uh, this guy was uh, the guy that sold, well, sold her, tried to sell her the Unsullied. I guess he did sell her. And then she freed them and, uh, well, things didn't go so well for him. Uh, he was talking smack the whole time, didn't know that she understood him, but of course she speaks Valerian. She's a Targaryen. And I'm sure that makes no sense if you haven't watched the show. Uh, Francis Mac Maggie? That's how you say that, is Yorin. He is a member of the Night's Watch. Um, I like uh, like a lot of those characters, so I'm trying to get as many of those as I can. Uh, Lucien Mismati, he is playing Salador Sahan. I'm not sure I said that right, but uh, when um, Baratheon tries to get enough ships to go attack uh, King's Landing, uh, the Onion Knight, uh, Sir Davis, 
that's his name. He calls his friend, uh, who is a pirate, to use his ships, and that is who that is. I really like the gold autograph ones. They're all cool, but the gold autographs in particular are pretty slick. Make sure I don't push everything out of frame there. Uh, Rob Callender, uh, pretty small role. This is um, when Arya went to the free city of Bravos and she watched a play. She was studying to be a faceless man. Uh, this person uh, played Joffrey, I think. Uh, it's Colorenzo. Well, that's the character's name, but sort of meta there, character within a character. Uh, Staz Nair. Uh, he, I think that looks Kohano. Uh, I think this is one of the. Oh my gosh, what is it? The Dothraki. He's one of the Dothraki guys that uh, ends up following uh, the Khaleesi, Breaker of Chains. Uh, Clive Russell. Uh, this guy I really like. Uh, the Blackfish? Is that what they call him? Uh, Sir Brun Tully, yeah, Tully. Um, so, uh, really interesting character. Very, very brave character. Very doesn't take take shit off of anybody, poop off of anybody. Family friendly. Uh, Sarah Dillon. She, I think, was in Little Fingers. Sir, is Bernadette. I'm not 100 percent on that one. I knew I recognized her though. Uh, man, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these. So many awesome things here. Let's see if we can push the limits of the frame and squeeze some more in there. All right, we're gonna overlap a little bit. Okay, and I am not done. This package has more. These are now all in this uh, painter tape stuff here. So at least you did figure out the painter's tape for these. I see Julian Glover, which we actually already showed Julian Glover in my previous one. It's the only one that I have two of now, but two is in so many things, and this one was way cheaper than the first one that I bought, so it was difficult for me to pass it up. Believe it or not, I actually bought these particular cards you're seeing, these uh, Game of Thrones cards, off of Etsy. Which, who ever thought of that? I don't remember, I saw, I was, I googled him. It was when I did the previous movie, the previous film, and uh, I was showing Julian Glover here. I was looking up what uh, movies he was in, and I just googled his name, and it, an Etsy link came up. I'm like, Etsy? Which, if you don't know, Etsy's like a, an artsy thing. Uh, you know, get stamps, and... Um, you know, laser engraved things for your anniversary and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, you know, it's a cool place. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I've sold origami on there, actually. But, um, you know, this came up, so I clicked on it, and I was surprised to see how relatively, you know, reasonably priced it was. And then I found all these other ones on that person's list. So I ended up buying a bunch of them. So Julian Glover. Uh, I'm going to set him just off screen since he's already been here before. Okay, so this is a dual one. Roger Alman and Harry Lloyd. Um, so, um, Viserys Targaryen and Magistrate Illyrio. So that is Daenerys Targaryen's brother, a uh, royal jack wagon. Don't really like him, and uh, he gets his own from Carl Drago. Um, I'm not remembering his significance, but I have his autograph. Oh, yeah, completely unrelated all this. Scott Hale! He was on the list. And I'm like, uh, I know Scott Hamill. you got to be kidding me. So it's numbered 204 out of 299, a Scott Hamill figure skating. So if you're my age or older, you know who he is. And uh, he was a pretty significant person in uh, Olympic uh, sports history. So I got his autograph, too. This one I'm really excited to have. This is a uh, Grey Worm. Grey Worm being, uh, what is that in there? Is that a scratched card or is that a hair? Okay, it's a hair in there. That's super weird. Okay. Uh, Grey Worm is um, chosen to be the leader of the Unsullied. Um, you see him in a bunch of episodes, so he's a pretty significant character. Uh, considering how many episodes he's in, I'm rather surprised at how cheap that was. And uh, Reese Noy, um, he took it upon himself to um, uh, kill a member of the Sons of the Harpy, I think is what it was, um, that were attacking uh, Daenerys, and, uh, but she was trying to keep the peace, so... She ended up executing him, which created a riot. Pretty significant part of the movie. I don't know what the hell, where I'm going to show all this rest of this stuff, so I might have to start stacking. My apologies. Pretty good stuff, though, if you ask me. This next one comes to us from Dallas, Texas. Joseph Davis. It's got four of these pink peanuts. And then pour them out. And there we go. Oh, I know what these are. Steve Rademacher, one of these is coming to you. My other non-sports friends, like Criterion Racer or whatever, if you're interested, let me know, brother. But these are uh, Simpson cards. Um, 
Although, Cartoon Eraser, you probably already have them. I don't think Steve does. Steve's not super into The Simpsons. Uh, you know, growing up, my parents wouldn't really watch The Simpsons because it was Bart Simpson's shenanigans and stuff. I grew up in a very conservative household, which is funny considering how unconservative I am now. But I've grown to like it as an adult, so now I have these Simpson film cards. But there's eight? Four, five, six. Yep. So uh, I'll probably open one or two at some point. Um, one or two are going to go into my non-sports pack collection. And uh, like I said, Steve, you can have one if you want, brother. Okay, next one we have Jordan Lukau, Sioux City, Iowa. So that didn't have to come very far. Uh, probably got here pretty quickly. No, it takes almost a week. That's weird. Sometimes the mail uh, doesn't operate at the speed you would expect them to. This is going to take forever to clean up. I got stuff everywhere. -ish. That's all right. Oh, yeah. So Bridget is my Pokemon specialist here. And uh, we were opening the other day some uh, Darkness Ablaze cards. And she was telling me all about this character. So I looked online, and actually I... What's this, $9? I don't think I paid $9. But um, I found and bid on a couple of these. And uh, one of both. So the other one we already opened. But there it is. It's a uh, Ultra Mega Super Uber Duper Pokemon Rare. I, uh, I know Pokemon Go, I don't know Pokemon the cards very well, and I don't think that one's been released yet, so don't ask me about that. This comes to us from New Jersey. Uh, yeah. Probably another eBay pickup. I like many of these. Oh, yeah. Sort of random. But uh, this is a wild card autograph of Bob Dole. So uh, Bob Dole passed away recently. Um, he was a significant player in the Republican Party, of which I am not. Actually, that's not true. I did I don't want to get into politics. Um, Bob Dole is uh, from Kansas and a significant person in U.S. history. And uh, I don't remember if that's what I paid. I don't think so. But uh, I have his autograph. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. When I was looking online, a lot of other autographs of Mr. Bob Dole cost uh, a lot more. So I uh, thought it was a pretty good deal. I'm going to sit him there. I have been looking for an Elizabeth Warren uh, Bernie. It would be really sweet, but hard to come by. Uh, the Donald Trump ones are stupid expensive, but uh, he's got a pretty, pretty devout following. All right, this is a nice little eBay box from California. And ah, all right, keeping with our previous theme, we have Game of Thrones cards. Now, I think it's safe to say that these are probably searched packs, uh, that they probably got whatever autograph out of the box. And uh, these are what was left over. But still pretty cool. Uh, I will definitely open some of these. Uh, again, Steve, because I know you're a pack collector, even though you haven't watched this show yet, but you should. Um, I will add those to my non-sport pack collection. Can you even see those? I don't know. Too much going on. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That was the last one. I think so. Yeah. All right. That's it. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to, I know I told my wife not to sort these. I'm going to top load everything at the very least, just to make myself feel better. And, uh, you know, if you watch this, let me know what you, what was your favorite. There's not a ton of sports in here. There is some. Scott Hamill, that's sports. Um, yeah, man, I don't know what I'd say is my favorite thing. I really dig the Yoda, but, uh, and the Grey Worm. It's probably two of my leading ones, but I bought them all. So it's really hard for me, because clearly I like all these things. But, yeah. Uh, I would consider this an epic mail day, but uh, I am partial as I selected them all. So uh, let me know what you think of uh, my collection here and uh, if there's something else that maybe I should uh, seek out. And uh, don't sleep on Etsy. It's weird, but, you know, there's other non-eBay sites out there that have reasonably priced things. So that's it for me today, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Peace out, my friends.